Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, let me introduce myself My name is Dafa Ramadan We are from Teknologi Hasil Perikanan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Perkenalkan nama saya Agus Langer Iklas NIM 1704 11 3573 Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Thank you for the given us opportunity And I'm gonna introduce myself My name is Nur Atasya My name is Anissa Anastasia I will explain about direct selfish poisoning or DSP and amnesic selfish poisoning or ASP So first we need to know the background of the direct selfish poisoning or DSP Episode or outbreaks of DSP A gastroenteritis disease in humans caused by eating toxic marine selfish are currently limited to cold and warm temperate areas in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Although cases have been reported from the tropical Indo-Pacific, there are only two documented cases of DSP in North America, but this number will surely increase as surveillance techniques are defined. Over 10,000 cases have been reported throughout the world since 1976. Diarrhea surface poisoning or DSP produce gastrointestinal symptoms usually beginning within 30 minutes to a few hours after consumption of the toxic surface. In some countries, sampling for dinopisis is routine during the DSP seasons and when the cone exceeds a certain number, surface testing for toxicity begins. For the most recent comprehensive review of DSP and dinopisis and the potential effects of prorocentrum minimum. And next, clinical presentation. First, complete cl clinical recovery is seen even in severe cases within 3 days and knows about 80% and vomiting 79%. And diarrhea was the most commonly reported symptoms. This is a self-limited diarrhea disease without known chronic sequel. There is no evidence of neurocytosity and no fatal cases have ever been reported. Diarrhea was the most commonly reported symptoms, about 92%, closely followed by nose, about 80%, and vomiting 79%, with onset 30 minutes to 12 hours from ingestion. Complete clinical recovery is seen even in severe cases within 3 days. Management and treatment of DSP. Treatment is symptomatic and supportive with regards to short-term diarrhea and accompanying fluid and ele electrolyte losses. Other diarrheatic illness associated with selfish consumption, such as bacteria or viral contamination, should be ruled out. As with many of the marine toxic induced disease, the initial or index cases are often the tip of the iceberg and every effort should be met to obtain contaminated materials and their search. And molecular mechanisms of action The 4D at levels of 200 cells per liter in muscle and scallops becomes toxic for human. The minimal amount of the SB toxins required to induce disease in humans was 12 mu. Okadaic acids and dinopisitocin 1 and 3 are exceeded while there is no other another natural group of toxin which are which are polyter lactones named pectotoxin and isotoxin diarrhea is a cause in mice when the acidic component of okadaic acid is injected interperitoneally pectotoxin 1 causes liver damage in mice under similar circumstances both of the pectotoxin and isotoxin are lethal in mice with ip injection Background of amnesia surface poisoning or ASP. Amnesia surface poisoning is a potential deadly illness caused by the toxin domain acid. Domain acid is produced by diatom pseudonychia and algae species and surface that eat this alga bucomelate eh, domain acid. In 1987, there was a major outbreak of amnesia surface poisoning from the consumption of contaminated muscle resulting in over 100 human cases with several deaths. Today, there is a strict monitoring of the ocean and commercial surface producer to ensure the risk of amnesia surface poisoning is minimized. But, directional fishing may place consumers at risk on a much smaller scale. Pathophysiology 
Domic acid is an amino acid similar to kinetic acid, another naturally occurring toxin and glutamate, the main excitatory signal molecule in the central nervous system CNS. Domic acid has been found to be about 100 times as potent as glutamate in its affinity for glutamate receptors in the brain, particularly the amino 5 methyl 3 hydro cisozalone 4 propionate or AMPA and kinate subtypes. Activation of these AMPA and kinate receptors leads to the dangerously high level of CNS activity. This increased activity can precipitate death, death the seizure and damage to amygdala and hippocampus in the brain. Clinical manifestation Diarrhea within 30 minutes to 24 hours and abdominal pain and cramping nose vomiting. Patient with toxicity from domain acid may present with a headache. With more severe toxicity, patient progress to develop permanent short-term memory loss, seizure, coma, and shock over the next 48 hours. Patients who presented with these symptoms after consuming non-commercial obtained seafood such as muscle clams or crabs should be prone clinicals to sub suspect ASD. Due to the similarities between domain acid to kinetic acid and glutamic acid, CNS toxicity is the major concern. Diagnosis Unfortunately, because there are no domain acid laboratory assay that test human for domain acid can only available to hospital. Diagnosis will be made based on the clinical manifestation and history. In the prior outbreaks, patients tested within 48 hours of their ingestion had no detectable domain acid suggesting that it is quickly cleared. For patients tested in the prior outbreak, only one patient had an abnormal CT scan. MRI testing was not readily available during the last outbreak, but it is possible that it may demonstrate abnormalities of the hippocampus amygdala nucleus. Treatment of this ESP. Patient presenting with dehydration from vomiting and diarrhea can be treated with supportive measures including intravenous fluids and antiemetics while there is no clear consensus for treatment for ESP. Treatment should be directly uh, protecting from the potential neurotoxicity of domain acid. Studies done on animal models have shown that treatment with fulpurate and uh, presidone vitamin B C both attenuated the levels of domain acid induced glutamate receptor activation, suggesting that there may be some use in the treatment of ESP. That's all about our presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.